So my name is Dr. James Wright. I've worked at Solent University now for just over seven years. I'm currently a senior lecturer in sports science and performance, and I have a specialist interest in sport and exercise physiology. So I started my career by completing an undergraduate degree in sports science. I then briefly worked as a cardiac technician for the NHS before realising that I wanted to work in sport. So I took a role as a sports science technician at university and at the same time completed a master's degree on a part-time basis in sports performance. When I completed that, I undertook a process of supervised experience through the British Association of Sports and Exercise Sciences and that was to become an accredited sports scientist. More recently, I moved to Solon University where I took a technical instructor role and at the same time completed my PhD again on a part-time basis. So a typical day can range from preparing lectures, preparing practical sessions and seminar sessions, delivering those sessions and working individually with students on their own research projects. In addition, I am a researcher myself, so complete research projects with colleagues both at Solent University and external collaborators that I work with. If you chose to study Applied Sports Science at Solent University, you would complete a range of different modules. My area of interest is sport and exercise physiology, and within that we would introduce you in the first year to the key principles of anatomy and physiology. In the second year we would take that knowledge and put it into an applied setting, looking at different testing protocols that you would typically use with an athlete or a client. Finally, in the third year we would prepare you in a professional setting to work as an applied physiologist upon graduation. The majority of my applied work has focused on endurance-based sports, such as running and cycling, but also team-based sports, such as football. Typically, we would collect physiological data, such as heart rates, oxygen uptake, blood lactate, and we would use that information to set individual training zones that can be used by a coach to optimize performance. My main piece of advice for anyone who wants a career in sport and exercise science is to gain as much experience as possible during your undergraduate degree. We will be able to help you find some of those experiences, but you will have to be proactive in driving the process and gaining that experience. Also, try to gain experiences outside of your main sport of interest. The knowledge that you will learn from working in a variety of sports, from team sports to individual sports, will help you develop as a rounded practitioner and applied sports scientist.